Everyone is going crazy. Shut up! The show is ready. That was ridiculous. You shut, shut the, the f up! Talk, talk to me like that! You are actually retarded! Whoa. Mark Hay, you're out. It's time to get serious. For real. For each of these 12 contestants, Arts and Crafts Pro is the opportunity of a lifetime. I beat cancer, I can definitely beat these guys. Everyone here is crazy! There's no possible way I can lose this competition. I'm here to get my gimp on. But only three of them will have what it takes to make it to Pearl Art Craft Week in Tompkins Square Park. I know I've got what it takes. I've got the takes. I just said that. Everybody's I'm gonna cut these people up like an instruction today. Yeah. Today. One of them will go on to win $100,000, a spread and felt magazine, and a 2008 Segway. Can you believe it? Love will come. One word. Attention to detail. I went down on Lisa Lowe. This is Arts and Crafts Pro. Things have been getting really stressful now that we're getting down to the final six. Um, everyone's really high strung. I'm not too worried. Um, it's just a lot of fun and it's, I mean, it's just a game. Uh, you can't smoke in here. So there are six of us left. I am one. Five are morons and freaks and have no friends. I don't want to be friends with people here. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win, okay? Bring it. Well, I grew up in rural Colorado. I was encouraged to start taking art classes and ended up just collaging everything. Found a, a school in New York that had a great craft program, and so I've been studying crafts at the Parsons Institute of Arts and Crafts in New York. Did you eat my strawberries? Did you eat my strawberries? Yes. Okay, I mean, it's fine. Just if, if you could ask, it would be really great. The same thing happened with my cookies. Yeah, I'll try. These While we're on the subject of things that annoy us, did you move my razor? It was just in the cabinet. Uh, what are you? What's wrong with you? Are you a barbarian? Uh, Answer the question. Are you a barbarian? I grew up in No Chaito, North Chinatown. You have to be tough to survive there. They're gangs, you know. Do not touch my stuff. I just thought it should go in the cabinet. Do you understand what happens to me when I cannot find my stuff? Um, I get very upset. Uh, I know, I see. Yeah. So I will eat your strawberries and you will not move my now f off! Okay. Last week was really hard on me personally because I don't want to go home. I'm not ready to go home. I'm just a waitress and I'm pretty in over my head. Before I got here, I didn't even know what googly eyes were, but these people are serious. They know all of it. They know the pom-poms and pipe cleaners and glitter and I'm just kind of feeling my way through it. Namaste! Jesus Christ. I was in Indonesia for uh, a year when I was 13 years old, alone, at a Buddhist monastery. I really got an immense love for humanity there. Morning, Skyler. Morning, Scott. I bake muffins for everyone. My specialty in arts and crafts, things that you glue onto other things, like feathers and little pom-poms or stickers. I love stickers. Color and flowers. Stickers with flowers. I like stickers with flowers. Yeah, put your sister on the phone, okay? Nora, Nora I need to talk to Michelle. 
Okay. Good morning. Yeah. Being away from my daughters has been really hard. I talk to them every day on the phone, but it's not, it's not the same as being there when they get home from school and being able to do projects with them, you know? Okay. But I talk to them every day. Okay. I have a wife and kids. You don't see me bitching about it all the time because I'm not here to talk about my kids and my wife. They're home doing whatever they're doing. We lead separate lives when it comes to arts and crafts. She's always known that. And so have my kids. Good morning. How are the girls? Oh, good. Michelle lost her lunchbox and she found it under the bed. <laughs> Morning. Would anybody like a muffin? No, thanks. Skylar is perfect. It makes me mad because I hate her. It's not bad living with her, but sometimes I wish I did not. Every day I wake up and then I go out to my roof and then I make a howl. Well, I have different series of piggy banks. I do some traditional. I have another series. This is currently in my shop right now. And I take pigs and I take banks and I attach them the embodiment of a capitalism is really deconstructing. Pig, honk, honk, oink, oink, and bank, clink, clink, honk, clink, oink, is what I go for. Good morning, son. <laughs> at this point in the competition, I'm still very much in love with everyone. I'm trying not to look at them like competition, but more like friends that um, inspire me. The competition's great because I am so much better than so many of these people. Skylar, <laughs> oh, she should just kill herself. Morning. How's it going? Yeah, I know. I think Ballantine is misunderstood. He's one of those guys you really want to hang out with because he's fun. <sighs> he's really kind of, he's like, he's like my type. He's edgy, wish he wasn't tied down. Children. Morning, arts and, oh, oh, my leg gave out? Seems like I fell down, I'm okay though, don't worry about it. Good morning, arts and crafters. Good morning, bro. How are you doing today? I have wanted to meet Raymond Glove since I was in high school. His magazine makes you feel like you're not an outsider because you want to do arts and crafts. I mean, Raymond Glove is to the arts and crafts world what Hitler was to the Nazis. I mean, Hitler was a really big deal uh, to the Nazis, and to the Jews too. But, I mean, to the Nazis, he was like Madonna to the Nazis. Last week, designers, arts and crafters, your challenge focused a lot on what inspires you, and plants also. This week, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, you know that hand turkeys have been a staple of American arts and crafts since the pilgrims came here to make peace with the Indians. This week we'll be asking you to do your interpretation of that class. When I first heard that the challenge is to make a hand turkey, I thought, all right, this is something I definitely know how to do. I was waiting for that. Every, that's a perennial thing. The opportunity that this challenge represents is a chance to take that to the next level, which I'm going to do. But, there's a twist. And when Ray said that there was going to be a surprise twist, I, mean, I was surprised. You think we'd be used to it by now, but uh, he just, he's really keeping us on our toes. When I heard there was going to be a twist, I thought, no shit. It's, they're not going to just say, make a hand turkey. That's retarded. I was looking around at people's hands. Sheila, you know, probably has baby food on them or something. A surprise twist. It, was, it caught me off guard. It twisted up what we were, we were going to do. We were all surprised and twisted. 
and I think that the work is going to reflect that. You have an $8 budget for this challenge, so you can really go wild. You've got a half an hour to shop at Pearl Paint, and you will only have six hours to complete your hand turkey. Get going, arts and crafters. Let's get crafty.